peekaboo. <laughs> Hi. Guess what? It was raining all morning, and when it stopped, I got to see a beautiful rainbow. Do you know what colors are in the rainbow? Why don't we go over them together? The first color in the rainbow is red. The second color in the rainbow is orange. The next color in the rainbow is yellow, just like the sunshine. Those are the first three colors. Let's keep going. Next, we have the color green. And then we have the color blue. We're almost there. Two more colors to go, and they're unique. The next color is indigo. It's a mixture between blue and purple. And the last color of the rainbow is violet. It's a mixture between purple and pink. All the colors in the rainbow are so beautiful. So keep your eyes to the sky and be looking for those rainbows. There may be a pot of gold on the other side. Thanks for joining me. having a tea party with my friends and coloring in this brand new coloring book. My mom bought it for me and she got me a brand new box of crayons. I started coloring a picture last night. I just have to finish one more thing. Here, I'll show you. It's a kitty cat with a fruit basket on its head. <laughs> That's silly. All I have left to color is the banana. Do you know what color a banana is? That's right, it's yellow. I should color the banana yellow. Sometimes I have trouble trying to stay in the lines, but this coloring book's great because it has really big thick lines. It makes it easier for me to color. There, perfect. What do you think? Hey bananas, what color is my hair? Right? It's purple! P U R P L E. That spells purple! There are lots of different shades of purple, like violet and magenta and indigo. My hair is dark purple, like the shade indigo. And look at my flowers. They're light purple, like the shade violet. Mmm, they smell so good. I gathered some of my favorite purple items to put in my purple purse, like my purple notebook. And a purple candle. I have a purple scarf, a purple headband, and a, a frog. Frogs are not purple, crazy frog. <laughs> I also have a pair of purple scissors. There, now everything's in my purple purse. <gasps> I have an idea. What if I put my purple purse in my purple backpack? Let's see if it fits. Perfect. Now I'm ready for a purple day. I think I'm gonna go have a snack. I'm going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And do you know what kind of jelly I'm gonna use? Grape jelly, it's purple! Hi, Banana! I'm so glad 
glad you decided to join us today. Mr. George and I are learning all about the color red. Why don't you help us? One of my favorite things are strawberries. Strawberries are red. <laughs> Mr. George likes strawberries too. <laughs> they taste so good. What's that? A fire truck? A fire truck is red. There it is, a red fire truck. Good job. Let's practice identifying the color red. Here's four circles. Can you pick out the red circle? This one? That's right. This circle is red. Let's try it again, this time with triangles. Can you pick out the red triangle? Is this one red? No, that's yellow. Is this one red? No, that's green. Is this one red? No, that's purple. Is this one red? Yes! This is the red triangle. You bananas are smart. Woof, woof. What's that, Mr. George? Woof, woof. You see something red on me? Bananas, do you see something red on me? My hat? My hat's red. I didn't even notice. I must really love the color red. Thanks for playing with us today. Say bye, Mr. George. <laughs> bye, bananas. Hi, bananas. Welcome back to tea time. Leonard and I were learning all about the color blue. B L U E. That spells blue. There are two really big things outside that are blue. The sky and the ocean. Both of those are blue. And look, my headband is blue too. I made it myself, do you like it? <laughs> Thank you. Here are some things that are blue. Blueberries. Blue jeans and a blue jay. Here are some other things that can be blue. Butterflies, dolphins, and flowers. Let's take a look at some other things that can be blue. beautiful color. Keep your eyes peeled for things that are blue. Say bye, Leonard. Roar. <laughs> bye, bananas. Well, hello there. Welcome to Tea Time with Taylor. That's me. I've been learning all about my basic colors. And today I'm learning about the color black. Like my black bow and my black vest. Would you like to learn about the color black with me? All right, let's do it. <gasps> hey, who turned off the lights? Whoa. 
Whoa! I'm surrounded by the color black. <gasps> That's better. <laughs> B L A C K. That's how you spell black. Now there are a lot of things that can be black. When I'm coloring, I like to start by using my black crayon. I like to use my black crayon to draw a black cat. <laughs> That's a scaredy cat. I can think of two animals that can be black and they can fly. Can you think of two black flying animals? Go ahead, take a guess. Good guesses. I was thinking of a black bird and a black bat. Both of these can be black and they can fly. There are also some musical instruments that can be black. A clarinet is black and a piano is black. Hey, there's some black keys on the piano. Let's play on the black piano keys. Here are some other things that are the color black. Gorilla. Top hat. Licorice. Eight ball. Tire. And spider. Well, we have learned about so many things that can be and are the color black. And I couldn't have learned this much about the color black without your help. So thank you, Bananas. P. I. N. K. That spells pink. Just like my pink parasol. Pink is my favorite color. My hair bows. My bracelet, my top, skirt, socks, and carpet are all pink. I really love the color pink. Can you stand on one foot and balance? Now we're standing like a flamingo. Flamingos are pink. Can you turn around like a ballerina? Make sure you stay up on your toes. Ballerinas wear pink tutus and pink ballet slippers. Can you make a piggy face? Oink, oink, oink. Piggies are pink. Let's shake our pink piggy tails. <laughs> there are lots of yummy foods I like to eat that are pink, like cotton candy and strawberry ice cream and bubble gum. Wait a second, you don't eat bubble gum. You chew it and blow really big bubbles with it. P-I-N-K, that spells pink. And I love the color pink. Hi, Tea Time friends. Welcome to my show. I was practicing my colors and learning all about the color white. W-H-I-T-E. That's how you spell white. Let's think of some things that are white. Hmm. Milk is white. Your teeth are white. Cheese. Make sure you brush them to keep them that way. What's that? A polar bear. Polar bears are white. Cool. Hey, I want to wear my white necklace. Can you help me find which necklace is white? It 
can't be this one. That necklace is red. And this necklace is blue. So it must be this one. This necklace is white. It's pearls. Pearls are found under the ocean in oyster shells and they're white. There, now I feel beautiful. Here are some other things that are white. Snow, eggs, igloos, doves, the White House. Hey, that's where the President of the United States lives, in a big white house. Be on the lookout for things that are white. It's such a neat color. Bye-bye. Hi, bananas. Welcome to tea time. This is my new friend, Leonard. He's a lion. Can everybody say hi to Leonard? Hi, Leonard. Roar. <laughs> Leonard and I were learning all about the color green. G. R, E, E, N. That spells green. Leonard and I were gonna have a tea party and he really wants to use the green teacup. Can you bananas help me find the green teacup? This one? No, that's purple. What about this one? No, that one's orange. What about this teacup? No, that one's yellow. That must mean it's this one. Good job, bananas. This teacup's green. Here you go, Leonard. <laughs> Leonard really likes the green teacup. He must really like the color green. He's wearing a green hat. Roar. What's that, Lena? I have on something green. Bananas, do you see something green on me? <gasps> My scarf! My scarf is green! Good job, Bananas! Why don't we think of some things together that are the color green? There's lots of yummy foods to eat that are green, like celery and broccoli, lettuce, cucumbers, and pickles. Mmm, I love pickles. I know something else that's green. Do you think you can guess? You can find it outside sometimes in a park or in your front or backyard. Sometimes your mommy and daddy have to use a lawn mower to cut it. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's the grass. Good job, bananas. The grass is green. Be on the lookout for things that are green. Well, Leonard and I are gonna finish having our tea party. Thank you so much for helping us and for finding the green teacup. Say bye, Leonard. Roar. <laughs> bye, bananas. Hey, bananas. Leonard and I were just in the kitchen and he picked out his favorite vegetable, carrots. And I picked out one of my favorite fruits, clementines. Hey, carrots and clementines are both orange. O, R, A, N, G, E. That spells orange. What's that? A volcano. Look, the lava is orange. Cool. Basketballs and pumpkins are both orange. 
then they're both round. You can bounce a basketball, but don't bounce a pumpkin or it'll go splat. Hey, there's a famous fish that's orange. He gets lost and his dad has to come and find him. Do you know what famous fish is orange? He has his own movie. That's right, it's Nemo. Nemo's a clownfish and clownfish are orange. Wow, we learned so many things that are orange. Carrots, clementines, lava, basketballs, pumpkins, and a clownfish like Nemo. Rawr. <laughs> yes, Leonard, you can eat your carrots now. is a guitar and this one is a violin I like the ukulele check out this cello cool instruments huh B R O W N that's how you spell brown Look at that tree. Its trunk is brown. <gasps> that must be an oak tree because it's growing acorns. And acorns are brown. <gasps> I see two brown animals hiding behind the tree. Can you point out the deer? Yes, you found him. That is a brown deer. Now, can you find the beaver? Yes, that's a brown beaver. Awesome job. Hey, there's another tree. That tree looks really different. It's growing coconuts. The outside of coconuts are brown. Do you see the monkey swinging from that tree? He's the color brown and he's cute. Hi, Mr. Monkey. Here are some other fun things that are the color brown. Basket. Baseball mitt, pretzels, bear, and chocolate. Mmm, I love chocolate, and I love the color brown. I am so glad you came to learn with me today. I'll see you bananas next time on Tea Time. Bye! Welcome back to tea time. Mr. George and I were out picking some flowers and look, we found yellow ones. Yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W. That spells yellow. And I decided to wear something yellow today. Can you see what it is? My belt! My belt is yellow. Let's play a game. Here are three fruits. Can you guess which one of the fruits is supposed to be colored yellow? 
a banana, grapes, or an apple? Hmm. It can't be an apple. Apples are usually red. Hmm. Not the grapes. Grapes are purple or green. That must mean it's the banana. Bananas are yellow. Let's try another one. Here are three vegetables. Can you guess which vegetable is supposed to be colored yellow? Carrots, broccoli, or corn? Hmm. It can't be the carrots. Carrots are orange. Not the broccoli either. Broccoli is green. That must mean it's corn. Corn is yellow. Make sure to eat your vegetables. Yellow is a fun and bright color, just like the sun. The sun is yellow. Mmm, <laughs> the sunshine feels good. There are a lot of things that are the color yellow, like a school bus, bananas, corn, the sun, my belt, and my flowers. Do you want to smell? Mmm, <gasps> they smell so good. Be on the lookout for things that are yellow. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. The doors on the bus go open, close, open, close, open, close. The doors on the bus go open, close. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're the farmer in the dell.